I just wanted to come to this video about CapCut. I was using it to edit some of my videos for the Amazon Influencer Program, and I was noticing some new things that I had not noticed before. And I wanted to share them with you because like this program is getting so good, you guys. Like seriously, it is getting so good. I know other people say they use Final Cut Pro. They use DaVinci Resolve. I started using CapCut. I got used to using CapCut. And I just, I can't stray away from it because I just, I, I've grown to love it so much and they just keep adding more and more features to it. And I, I just think it's amazing. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to share my screen and, and show you the things that I've learned because it's awesome. A few new features that I've noticed with CapCut is that there's some boxes on the main screen when you open it now. There's a video translator, there's a script to video tool, and there's also a long video to shorts button here where I've been using this tool called Opus Clip and it's a paid tool and I already pay for CapCut Pro which is $7.99 a month. I feel like I get so many benefits out of this product. I love, love, love that this is here. So I want to test that out. I don't have a long video to test today, but I wanted to show you something else that I noticed when I went to go create a new project and I imported a piece of content drag it down here to my workspace area. I noticed this little thing right here. This little, it's a box with little scissors and some, I don't know what that little symbol is, but when I hovered over it, it says transcript based editing, which if you've ever heard of a product called Descript, that's what this the Descript product does. So it looks like Capca is bringing in a lot of new things into it that I've been using other products for that I probably no longer need to use. It takes a transcript of what you've said and it includes all of the spaces and the pauses. So you can come in here and delete these. I'm just deleting all these pauses that I made. And then if I said something stupid, like right here, I said, look how big this is, like a hippopotamus. You know, maybe I don't want that in my video. So I would just delete it. And then now when I play it, it is without those parts of the videos. And it was so much faster for me to edit that than to manually do it. So now I can export my video and go on my way with that. Some of the other amazing features that I've noticed recently on CapCut, that doesn't mean that they weren't here before. It's just, I'm just noticing them now is under audio. I noticed that now there is an enhanced voice that's set to pro. There's one for reducing noise. There's one for vocal isolation. I use all these just for different reasons. For example, I had a fan on earlier, ceiling fan when I was recording a video and I could hear the fan whirling in the video. So I could either use reduce noise or vocal isolation. Just FYI, when I clicked vocal isolation, it said that it could only do it on videos under 15 minutes. So I ended up going with reduce fan and that took care of it. Under video, you've got camera tracking. So you can select an object to track body hand custom. There's a background remover right here. There's retouch. I use this a lot. Usually I'll on my videos I want for retouch. I will pick and I'm not showing a face here, so it's not letting me do it. Let me actually import one where I might be showing my face. I import that. And then I can do that part. Under retouch, and I would just this is the wrong aspect ratio or obviously, but I use the even, I use the smooth, and then I also like to go down here under makeup. I'll pick this latte one. It puts a lot of makeup on. You notice it puts a lot of makeup on me, but I just kind of bring it all the way down to like about 20 and it's like enough makeup. So it doesn't look too much. But another thing that I do also like to do is auto adjust under pro. This will fix my lighting, which this video has already been fixed. It really brightened it up and script to video. This one might be cool. Write your own script, enter scripture or let AI generate scripts for you. So maybe I would type in something related to a TikTok shop video that I want. So maybe I could use even this AI writer down here uh, in beta. So let's click on that general topic, specific topic. Let's keep it on general. Let me create a script talking about the Timo wave hair curler and how it lets me curl 
my hair into beach waves in about 15 minutes. Let's just try that. So it's creating it. So here is what it came out with. And I could use it or I can regenerate it or I can change it. Let's just click add and then generate video. So I can generate video with materials on my device. So I could use B-roll of myself. That actually might be interesting. Or I could do smart generation to generate videos with materials from CapCut. Let's try the local media. I don't know what media it's getting it from because it didn't ask me for it. Linkage is turn off for projects using scripted video. I don't know what linkage is. Let's tr just play it and see what it's... Hey there. Whoa, that was loud. Beauty enthusiasts. Today, we're going to talk about a game changer in the world of hairstyling the Timo Wave Hair Curler. This amazing tool lets you create gorgeous beach waves in just 15 minutes. It didn't have any thing in this line, so I'm thinking maybe it wants me to bring in my video here, my media, and maybe I extract the audio. Do, 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 do. I'm just testing this out and I want to delete that audio and I want to cut this there. Hey there, beauty enthusiasts. <laughs> Today, we're going to talk about a game changer in the world of hairstyling the Timo Wave Hair Curler. This amazing tool lets you create gorgeous beach waves in just 15 minutes. So, let's dive right in. The Timo Wave Hair Curler is designed with a unique clampless design that allows for effortless curling. It's perfect for creating those coveted beach waves. Okay, so obviously I would want to use B-roll where I'm not talking. I would just be moving around in the frame. Maybe I would be styling my own hair and this would be over it. The other thing that I could do is instead of using the AI voice, I could use a clone voice. I noticed in here somewhere there was a area where you could clone your own voice. Oh, I see. It needs to be spread out more for me to understand what's going on here. There's so many tools in here. I mean, you literally have to click on things and when you click on them it's a context menu so if you're clicking on something like words text you're not going to get audio up here first click on your your text on screen which you get your text over here under text and then you can pick this default text or you can pick any of these you know these templates down here i usually just do the default text and then pick whatever I want. You put your text down here and then you go over here to text to speech and you can do custom voices with AI. So basically what it has you do is it has you read some stuff off of a script. Some Here's your sample text. It records your voice and then it clones your voice. So then now every time you want to make a video, it uses, this is so creepy, it uses a clone of your voice so you no longer have to speak. So I created these two, these two different voices, played around with the speed or, or something. There was different settings that I picked and I got one that really sounded very close. I thought sounded very close to my, my actual voice with the cadence and, you know, the pronunciations and, and stuff that I do. It's, n it's never going to be perfect. Obviously, it's AI. It's not actually me, but I was blown away by that. So just imagine that you used that tool that, where did it go? It's on the main screen. The script to video tool. This is a really unflattering. There we go. <laughs> if you use the script to video tool to generate the script and then you came back, maybe you delete their AI generated voice here and you changed it to your cloned voice. And then in this part here, you have your B roll of you doing the action, or maybe you could even have, you know, a stock footage of, of things that you've downloaded some from somewhere. So if you aren't using CapCut already, I would encourage you to download it. There's a free version and then there's $7.99 for the pro version that has all of the stuff that 
is is amazing and cool. The free version is actually pretty packed, um, but I, like I said, I use a lot of the pro version, the pro features, and I think it's well worth the $7.99 a month. I'm gonna put a link down in the description. You can check it out. It's it's an affiliate link. You know, thank you for using that if you do. And um, I'll catch you in the next video. Thanks. Bye.